Hi guys, welcome back to my project box. Now gentlemen, I would like to admit something. I was wrong. And I can do it, I can apologize, I can, I can admit to being wrong. Now this relates to a question in the comments about two-way lighting with one of my circuit hacks where um, you can put the Sonoff um, Mini behind one of the light fixtures so that it gets better Wi-Fi reception and also if you don't have a neutral uh, behind the light switch. Um, now this circuit works great with an ordinary light switch. Uh, the trouble is when you wanted to use two-way lighting, that's what everybody asked me about, is it possible to do it with two-way lighting? And um, I kind of oohed and aahed and said, um, yes, but you can't use ordinary light switches. You'd have to use a push button type, like uh, push to make style switches. Um, and various other solutions I came up with at the time, they weren't very elegant, but it turns out it is possible to do it in almost exactly the same way uh, by putting a diode across the light switch. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more complex, but it works really well. So if you guys want to join me in this video, we'll go through it. And I'd like to share with you how I came up with uh, the solution. So here's my uh, circuit again. This uh, allows you to put the sun off uh, by the light fixture itself. So you don't have to worry about uh, a neutral supply not being behind the light switch. And uh, you could also possibly have a, a better Wi-Fi reception because the sun off is now up by the light fixture. And um, the, the only problem with putting the sun off up by the light fixture is that the light switch itself can turn the sun off off. The power supply can be cut the moment the power is cut via the light switch. So um, how I get around this is I have a diode that feeds half wave uh, to the sun off. So you put a diode directly across your light switch and then that way the sun off is still powered via half wave. And if the switch is closed, you get full wave going to the sun off. And then you have a circuit that detects this um, transition between half wave and full wave. And that then tells the sun off to um, get a switch input locally. And uh, it works rather well. But then, um, of course, uh, a lot of you asked me in the comments, is it possible to make this work with two-way lighting? Now, of course, uh, you would have to somehow connect this diode across uh, both switches so that um, you can still power the sun off because if any one of these two-way light switches were in the off position, um, the, the power supply couldn't get to the sun off. And I couldn't work out in my head how I would have to wire these diodes across uh, multiple switches. I knew it would be possible if we used push buttons, because then they could all be in parallel. Using push buttons would potentially work uh, quite well, but it's not an elegant solution since you have to change the existing light switches with new ones. Although you can get uh, push button type switches that look exactly like normal light switches, I don't think it's a very elegant solution. It'd be nice to be able to use the original light switch. Luckily, I did discover a way how to make it work with the original two-way lighting light switches. Uh, thanks to one of my viewers, um, Orlan Dimitov. He suggested that I use um, two diodes per toggle switch, which is the type of switches you use in two-way lighting. And that does the trick. With the diodes in this configuration, it simply doesn't matter which positions the switches are in. There's always a way for the diodes to pass half wave uh, to power the sun off, or they bridge the diodes out and the light detection circuit can activate. And when the light detection circuit is activated via the optocoupler, it uh, tells the sun off to turn on um, while it's still powered at the same time. So it works rather well. It's a, it's a rather neat solution and you can keep your existing light switches. Okay, so that's enough about circuit theory. Let's uh, demonstrate a little wire mock-up of two-way lighting circuit with our Sonoff Mini circuit hack. So we have here uh, the live coming in to our first uh, two-way lighting switch, which is a toggle switch. And um, then you have two strappers going across and then you have your second two-way lighting switch and then that comes out goes to your light fixture and our light, at our light fixture we now have the Sonoff Mini uh, with our little switch detection circuit 
and uh, you have uh, an LED light bulb and the neutral goes to the uh, uh, light fixture. So there's actually no neutral behind these light switches at all. You just have the diodes behind um, each light switch. So it's just the live supply coming in here and the neutral is on this side here. So let's test it. Let's see if it works. So let's uh, flip the first switch. And as you can see, that turns the light on. And then you walk to the other room or on top of the stairs and you turn the other switch on. That turns the light off. And uh, works without any problem. Now, um, what we can also do is we can use um, an assistant like Alexa or Google Home. Turn off the outside lights. Outside lights off. Turn on the outside lights. Got it. Turning on the outside lights. And then we can use any of these switches uh, to turn it back off again. So let's try using a Wi Fi control via a smartphone. Mm. Let's uh, use the phone to turn it off. Mm. So as you can see, it works perfectly. If I just uh, turn it around, as you can see, you've got the live coming in, and then you have this uh, toggle switch with the diodes across um, each contact, and then you have the strappers going across, and the diodes across the two contacts of the, the changeover contacts of the toggle switch. Now the diodes have had wire soldered to them and I've shrunk a bit of clear heat shrink tubing over them to give them um, some insulation protection just uh, to make it nice and neat and safer as well. So they were protected with a bit of heat shrink tubing. And it works just great. So I was wrong. It is possible to do it with existing light switches. Now I looked into it. You can get the push button style ones that return like that that look like ordinary light switches. So my idea of putting, uh, getting rid of your existing light switches and putting in a push button type ones um, and wiring them in parallel would have worked. But you might have um, really nice uh, light switches in your house which you would like to keep the aesthetic look of. And this, uh, this gives you that freedom. And you might have no neutral behind those light switches. So this little um, circuit hack just gives you that freedom. So this circuit does differ slightly from the original version in that I've made some slight improvements. Um, I found that some LED light bulbs don't like the half wave DC and they flickered really badly. In my original design, um, my LED light bulb didn't flicker at all. But as I've tested several of them, I've noticed that I needed to add a capacitor and a diode so that it smooths the um, pulse DC out a bit. And then I get almost no flicker with most LED bulbs that I tested. I've also added a 10 ohm fusible resistor so that if the electrolytic capacitor goes faulty, um, it can open up like a fuse. And it also acts as, a, um, as an inrush limiter so that the inrush current is reduced as that capacitor charges up. This time, instead of adding uh, wires to the little PCB, I've just added some header pins this makes it easy to terminate my little circuit board hack straight onto the Sonoff Mini. And um, you just have to probably encase the PCB in something like some heat shrink tubing or a little case. So I just thought I'd mention that uh, this circuit hack of mine only applies to the uh, two-wire method of two-way lighting, um, which most of the world I think is familiar with. But there are other ways to do it, like in the UK, the three-wire um, method is um, more common. And I don't think you need my circuit act for that. You can probably put a diode across the one switch only. But um, in Europe, it's very common to only use the two-wire system. And uh, that's where my circuit act was developed for. There are, other, there are other methods as well, some really strange ones and some really dangerous ones in my view. But I think most of you um, will run into problems if you have the two-wire system. And that's why um, you would need the diodes for each switch. So it looks like there's a brand new version of the Sonoff Mini coming out. It's the Sonoff Mini R4. 
um, and it looks like it's quite a bit smaller than the Son of Mini R2. So I'm curious to know if my circuit hacks will work on this little bad boy as well. But we'll have to, have to wait and see when it's available in the new year. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, please leave more suggestions in the comments like this. And then um, if, uh, if I can, I can make uh, adjustments to my circuits in the future. See you on the next one.